What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And here's my next episode of Joe Winko Talk. So, um, this isn't going to be a bright and happy episode of Joe Winko Talk. It absolutely is going to be a gloomy episode of Joe Winko Talk. But it's not really going to be much about myself, really. It's going to be more about something that's happened, which I'm pretty sure you have all heard of by now, because it's been, like, all over the news. And the Young Turks have been talking about it so much, so I just better... So, I, like, I didn't really know much about this case, because I never really follow current events that much. But, um, because of the Young Turks, I kind of... The only reason why I do follow current, current events is because of the Young Turks. So, claps to them. Um, but when I heard this story, I was... It did kind of shock me, and I think it's really sick also. And I'm going to explain why. So, here's what happened. It's the story of the case of Charlottesville, Virginia. Apparently, what was going on, these dumbass rednecks and not all rednecks are bad some rednecks are really nice some of them don't hate on african americans or any other ethnicity but these were the like pure dumbass rednecks were marching the streets protesting some white they were white supremacists actually that's the correct term for them white percent per white per i forgot what the word what Forget about it. They don't even need to... White supremacists, that's the word. Forget about them. They don't even need to be called the correct words. They should be called white bastards or anything. No offense to the nice white people out there. But they were... Apparently what had happened was they wanted to have this rally out on the streets saying that the Jews were bad and everything and waving their Confederate flags and shit like that. And apparently the city of Charlottesville, Virginia... Um, apparently gave them permission to do that. Then they were having the rally. In return, everyone else who was, um, who was against it, they were also having a rally against them. They were protesting against them, the people who think Black Lives Matter. And, well, they do absolutely matter, nonetheless. The Black Lives Matter people, and also the people who support race and equality and everything, they were having a counter-protest. You know, just from then, you should have knew that this was just a recipe for disaster and that something horrible was going to stir up. I mean, what ended up happening was this dumbass idiot just rammed his car into a whole bunch of people, injuring 19 of them and horrifically killing one of them, and... Then he drove off and everything. They eventually hunted him down and arrested him. His name was, um... Let me bring up his name. Well, actually, I really don't want to say his name, but because he really doesn't deserve attention. But his name was James Alex Field Jr. And, um, he faced murder charges in the attack. And they actually caught the whole, um, thing on camera, too. I have a video of it. I don't think it was the common video that they were showing all around, but it is, um, cause like there was two different videos of it. One was them, one of them was from a different view, but this one, um, you got a closer, clearer shot of, of it. And it's, it's pretty graphic and pretty brutal and honestly quite horrifying, really. I'm going to bring it up right now. Three, two, one now. Gosh, did you see that? Okay, that's like some really fucked up mission from Grand Theft Auto of San Andreas. Even worse than that, really. What the fuck was that guy's problem? 
So, um, he just drove in there and plowed through a whole bunch of people, being the racist bastard he was. I honestly think he deserves to be executed via, um, what's it called? Is it called the shotgun method or something? Or firing squad? Yeah, that's what it's called. That's the kind of execution he deserves, that bastard. I'm surprised only... I, I mean, I don't want to work this wrong. I'm surprised that... I'm surprised more people didn't die from that. But he injured 19 people the way he just rammed into them and everything. And he did kill one person. Um, her name was Heather Hayer. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But her name was Heather Hayer. She was 32 years old. Here's her picture. She was marching out in the rally. Um, she's a really pretty brunette girl, and she looks very friendly, too, and in all honesty, when I first saw that picture, the first thing I thought of right away was, um, she reminds me of the character Brie from Carolina Maniacs, my Sims 2 horror movie I made last, last winter, and, you know, in all honesty, she really was a lot like Brie from Carolina Maniacs, too. Because she was out there helping people. She was out there standing up for other people's rights. And it didn't really, like, as you all know, she's white. And they were, they were trying to protest against them being racist. But she's white. Like, she didn't, it wasn't really concerning her. But she still wanted to stand up for the other people anyway. Because she cared about other people. And she was really, she really was caring and compassionate over other people and she didn't just think of herself and she wasn't just selfish like so many people on earth are and she's she died and it's all because of this bastard ran her over and it's all because of these stupid people who allowed that to happen there should have not been no white supremacist rally in charlottesville virginia who the fuck let that happen yeah, people are going to say, oh, it's freedom of speech and everything. Well, imagine this. Imagine if it was bu a bunch of creepy pedophiles out on the streets protesting that they have the right to molest children and shit like that. You think they would let that fly? Fuck no. Those people would be wiped off the face of the earth if that happened. Yet they let something like this happen? They're terrifying people and harming people. And now this girl, this woman is dead her friends and family miss her, and she's gone and never coming back, just because of this. How fucking stupid could you be? I mean, these people, these people who let, allowed that to happen, the officials who made that decision to let them march in the streets and wave their Confederate flags. How fucking stupid can that be? It's 2017. Why is stuff like this even allowed to happen? And it's sickening, really. It's absolutely sickening. However, the guy was arrested, and for some, one source told me, I'm not sure if this is still true, one source told me that he's going to be charged with second-degree murder charges. Why the fuck is he being charged with second-degree murder? Shouldn't he be charged with first-degree murder? If you're ramming your car into a whole bunch of people like that, you obviously have intention. Second-degree murder is when you don't premeditate, when you don't plan on killing someone, you do it like in a crime of passion. This was obviously premeditated. You saw that his car was removed of all the license plates and all painted down and everything so no one could recognize him with tinted windows and shit like that. And he plunged through all these people and he knew they were all going to be there. So he should be charged with first degree murder and he injured so many people too. And he should get life in prison and he should be executed. Pretty sure they have the death penalty in Virginia. They should. That pisses me off. I mean, we can't have stupid people on Earth like this. I mean, not just stupid people, but stupid and destructive people who destroy people's lives and destroy many people's lives and injure many of those people. Because some of those people who got hit will probably have permanent injuries from it. And it gets me pissed off. This whole story really gets me pissed off because that should have never been allowed to happen. Because what's the point? There's absolutely nothing good coming out of that anyway. Um, however, well, in a sick, twisted way, there is kind of some good coming out of it. I mean, it definitely doesn't 
compare to the the price uh, we already paid with losing Heather and the price her friends and family had to pay and the price of all those people injured have to pay. But on the other hand, all those bastards who were participating and the all, all the bastards who were participating in that um, stupid white supremacy march, they're all getting outed right now. I heard that there was one guy in the white supremacy march who was from Arizona. I think he was from Arizona or Nevada. And he said that he didn't mean to be a part of it, yet he flew all the way to Virginia to be a part of it. And now there's people going into hiding because of it, because they're getting death threats, which they absolutely deserve. I'm all about violence is never the answer, but, you know, they cross, they cross the line. They cause, they literally caused this to happen. And, you know, for all they, for all we know, they were probably thinking that some, some war was going to, some race war or something like that was going to break out and get a whole bunch of people injured. And it did. It re really did. And got one person killed for no reason. And it's absolutely sick. You know, and this happened in Virginia. That's like one of my favorite states that I always wanted to visit. It's like these people are just wrecking everything, really. You know, it makes me feel, it makes me feel glad that I'm a recluse and that I keep to myself and don't go out at all because you can't trust people. I mean, a bunch of people marching in the, marching in a white supremacist rally, it's sick. And you know, another sick thing, it actually makes me feel ashamed of myself as well because as you guys should know, I'm, um, even though I start off every episode of Joe Winko Talk as, well, what's up people, Joe Winko, your favorite Hawaiian guy. I'm not fully Hawaiian. I'm also mixed with Greek and Italian as well, besides Native American and Haitian. But I'm also mixed with Greek and Italian as well. But, well, actually, I don't know if there are any Italian people participating in the white supremacists or Greek people, but I'm not sure. But those are technically considered white people. So it kind of made me ashamed to have that part of heritage in me. But, you know, I honestly... I honestly should not feel ashamed at all because not all Italian people, not all Greek people, not all white people are like that. Some of them are really nice and they don't, and some of them aren't selfish at all, just like Heather wasn't. And some of them do believe that everyone should be treated fairly and that no one should be injured or killed because of their race or anything. And it's really sad. I feel very sorry for Heather and she really does remind me of Bree from Carolina Maniacs, because that's how, that's exactly what she was, looking out for people, just like Bree was looking out for, for Joe and Carolina Maniacs and making sure the killers don't get him. She was out there looking out for all those people, making sure those white supremacist dipshits weren't causing any trouble and making sure to stand up for people, really. That's what she was doing. And I remember her mother even said that um, she was, uh, she was, um, that they tried silencing her daughter by killing her, but in a way they just made her louder. I'm not exactly sure what, well, not louder, but made her more heard by everyone. And in all honesty, they did, really, but it's still really sick what happened to her. I'm not saying that she... She, I'm de I definitely don't think she deserved to die. No, None of those people deserve to get hurt like that. Or deserve to die either. And it's really sad. It's absolutely sad, really. And it's really sickening. And it makes me want to throw up. And I didn't really look into this story very much. Cause, um, but everyone was talking about it. It was all over the Young Turks. And I had to go watch a video about it and everything. And once I found out, it was... It was just much, much worse than what I thought, really. How he rammed into all those people. That pisses me off. You know, starting to think maybe the USA... Never mind, I shouldn't say that. I should not say that. Okay, well...
that's basically it for this episode of Joe Winko Talk. I just wanted to sh share my opinion on what happened there and also to make sure no one ever forgets about Heather, the one thing that was taken from all of us and a life who would, that was stolen for abs absolutely stupid reasons. But, and she did die a hero though. Like she did die standing up for everyone. But she shouldn't have died at all, and no one should have got hurt, no one should have died either, including her. And you know, this should have not been allowed to happen. She should have not had to be out there. None of those people should have had to be out there. And because th that white supremacist rally should have never been allowed to happen in the first place. It's fucking sick. And uh, another stupid thing, Donald Trump being the colossal dumbass he is, who should be thrown... Why the fuck hasn't that asshole been thrown out of office? He said that um, it was both sides' faults. My gosh. I am... I... Uh, as you all know, I'm autistic. I have borderline personality disorder. One psychiatrist even thinks I have paranoid schizophrenia. I'm not saying that people who suffer with those conditions are stupid, but not even I would say something that that idiotic and that insensitive that say that it was both sides' faults. Gosh. You know, it's pretty fucked up when... It's pretty fucked up when you're a mentally ill guy living in a country and you realize that even you would make a better president than the president you have nowadays. That's actually really scary, honestly. That's very scary. Um, so that's basically it for this episode of Joe Winko Talk. Um, I just had to add more there. Um, rest in peace, Heather. It's very horrible and very unfair that her life was stolen from her and that she was taken from her fans and f fan from her friends and family like that, and that's basically it. So please let me know what you all think about this ups about what happened and everything, and don't forget to comment and share your thoughts. So that's it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. So that's it. Peace out, people.